I'm going to show you a mathematical magic trick, um, which is going to be incredible. So if you'd like to take a card out, I can take any card. Can any I? card you like. Right. Uh, I won't look at it, but you can show uh, the camera. Okay, there cool. we go. <laughs> So, right, so the, what are you doing? You're putting it. Oh, uh, we're going to put it in the pack. But the idea is, uh, using maths alone, I'm going to uh, shuffle your card to anywhere you like in the pack. I'm going to do perfect, perfect mathematical shuffles. I'm going to take it anywhere you like in the pack. So you could say 43, and with five or less shuffles, I could take it to the 43rd card, for example. So what what number would you like? I'll write it down. Let's go for 22. 22. Okay. If I write this down here, and then we won't forget it. I reckon I could do that in uh, four shuffles. Each shuffle I'm going to know exactly where it is with math and then I'll explain to you how it happened. What do you mean by perfect shuffle? So exactly one after the other. So basically... <laughs> See how it's one after the other? Okay. And I'm going to allow myself three more, and then it should be at the 22nd card. So three more shuffles. It's like threading 52 needles at once. It's very tense. That's a perfect shuffle. Two more shuffles, two more perfect shuffles, and hopefully I will have found your card exactly at the 22nd place. That's a perfect shuffle. That's good enough for me. One after the other. I'll do one more, and I'll lay them out so you can see it's definitely perfect. And just so you know, they're perfect. That's, uh, you can see it's exactly one after the other. Yep. So let's group them together. Whoops, ladies. 20 second card, are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready and waiting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. What was your card? Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs, isn't that magical? By well, the power of mathematics. I'm going to explain it with, uh, let's take some of the hearts out. So, okay, I'm going to put these on the top of the pack in order. Six, five, four, three. To one. Now, what I've done is, just to demonstrate it a little bit, I've put the hearts on the top, the first seven, just so we can kind of follow what happens in a perfect shuffle. But there's two ways I can perfectly shuffle the cards like this. You might think there's one way, but there's two ways I can do it. First way is going to look like this. Um, so this is the first way I've done it, and if I spread it out, you'll see. If I just look at the hearts, what's happened to them, uh, the number of cards above every card has doubled. So above the seven, there was originally six, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Above the four, there was originally three, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So this doubles the number of cards above every card in the top half of the pack. If I'm gonna write it here, if there was n cards above it, after the shuffle, there was two n cards above it. And because this doesn't affect where the top card was, it doesn't do anything, I'm just going to call it a zero shuffle. That's the name of that shuffle. Now that's, let's say if I cut them the pack in half like this, and I shuffled them like this. So this top card stayed on top. The second way I could shuffle them is I could shuffle it like this. So the top card would be now be uh, second from the top. So it would look something, whoops, it would look something like this. Okay, so what this does is it doesn't just double the number of cards above every card, it doubles it and adds one. So above the five, there were four cards, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's doubled it and added one. Above the four, there were three cards, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what this shuffle does, if there was n cards above it, afterwards there's going to be two lots of n, and an extra one. And this now changes the position of the top card. It does something to it. So I'm gonna call it a one. Like it does something to, to that top card. It changes the place. So now we're ready to explain to you how I got your card to the 22nd card. Basically, to begin with, you might have seen, or maybe not, I'm not sure, that when um, I took your card back, I secretly moved it to the top of the pack. I didn't see you do that. I did, I secretly moved it to the top of the pack. How did you do it? It was, uh, well, it's kind of like this. I put it in, 
and I pretended to uh, show, it, show it to you like this, there in the pack, um, and then I sprinkle it, but now it's there on top. I still don't see how you did that. Well, that's the bit you're going to have to practice, maybe. <laughs> so it's on the top of the pack. You could, you could do it any way you want. You could even tell them to just put it on the top. So maybe, maybe you might have thought it was in the middle, but actually it was on the top of the pack. So at the, when it's on the top of the pack, it's got no cards above it. If we want it to end at a, the 22nd place, let me cover this up. Um, the 22nd place, it needs to have 21 cards above it. So all I've got to work out is what sequence of doubling shuffles and doubling add one shuffles I need to do. So 21 is an odd number, so I must have doubled something and added one. I must have doubled 10 and added one, okay? And that was a one shuffle. It was a shuffle that doubled and added one. So this is the number one here, not an arrow, that's a one. Ten's an even number, I must have doubled five uh, to get to ten. So that was a doubling shuffle, that was a zero shuffle that took n to two n. This is an odd number again, so I must have doubled something added one. I must have doubled two and added one. So that shuffle there is the doubling add one shuffle, which we labelled as a one. That's an even number, so before having two cards above it, I must have had one card above it and that must have been the doubling shuffle. And then to get from zero to one, I must have doubled zero and then added one. So that was a one shuffle. So where well, the one shuffle is a shuffle where I doubled the number of cards above every card and added one. So this is double zero, add one. A zero shuffle is when I double the number of cards above, above every card. So here it had one card above it, and after that, after that shuffle, it had two cards above it. And then the one shuffle, I doubled the amount of cards above every card and I added one. A zero shuffle, I double the amount of cards above every card. And the one shuffle, I double the amount of cards above it and added one. When I say every card, I mean every card in the top of the pack, top half of the pack, which is where your card is at the moment. Is that why you were less fussy about the bottom part? Yeah, whereas the bottom part didn't work out, it was okay, because I knew your card started at the top and was just working its way downwards. So the bottom half didn't really matter. So you're telling me, when you, you knew the ace of club was at the top, yeah. So you, as soon as that was the case, you knew you had to do a, a one shuffle, a zero shuffle, a one shuffle, a zero shuffle, and a one shuffle. Yeah, but there's a there's a way to work it out. So this is um, so this is one zero one zero one, and actually um, this is just a binary number. And if I draw in what the values of each column are, this is the number of ones. This is the number of twos. This is fours eights, sixteens, because that's how you count in binary. So actually this is a sixteen, a four, and a one. This is, this is the number twenty-one in binary. So I just have to work out what your number is in binary, do that sequence of shuffles, and it will take it to the right place. So if someone watching at home wants to do this trick yeah. to their friends or parents, yeah. there are there's still a lot of barriers here. They have to understand binary, which is maybe one of the easier steps. Yeah. They have to be able to do perfect shuffles. That's true. And they have to be able to do the sleight of hand to get the card up to the top. Yeah, well, the binary, I mean, sometimes I don't trust myself to work out the binary, so I have it written somewhere on a piece of paper just in case. Um, to, get the, to get the card to the top, you could do loads of things. You had the ace of clubs, didn't you? Uh, I mean, you could do... To get the card to the top, you could say, they take out a card, and you could say, say stop, and they say stop somewhere, and they put it in here. But say you remember what the bottom card is. If they say stop there, you put it in here. You know, once you cut this in, it's going to be underneath that card. So it looks like you kind of mixed in, but you know it's going to be underneath the two of spades. And you could go, oh, I'm looking for the card, I'm looking for the card, oh, I don't know where it is. You could split it and bring it there, and then it's on top. So there's lots of ways that don't take sleight of hand to bring it to the top. To do the shuffling, if you want to do it that way, you would have to practice it. Or um, you could just take, take them into two halves and deal them out one by one if you wanted to. That um, would make the trick quite slow. They would make the trick quite slow. Um, it's quite nice to practice it and maybe, maybe that's something to aim for.